Charlie Miller and Chris Valsic shook the automotive industry in 2015. They hacked an internet-connected car and remotely controlled its entertainment and braking system, bringing the car to a halt in the middle of a busy highway. The demand for connected cars is growing and so are the cyber attacks on them. In today's episode of Future Shapers, we have Atanu Niyogi and we are exploring IoT security. IoT systems are a part of our daily lives today. Do you think people should be concerned about the IoT systems? Look, people should not be concerned about using IoT systems, you know. IoT is part of our life now. It's here and we can't ignore it. It's making our life easy. But yes, as like any other system, when you use IoT system as well, there are certain cautions or uh, security measures that you should be aware of. Though most of it depends on the service providers, the OEMs, but as a user, we also have certain responsibilities. The basic common one, changing your router default password, right? Those are something that you need to take care of. Tell us more about the vulnerabilities that the IoT system possesses. You know, when it comes to IoT system or any other connected system, there are vulnerabilities across. There are certain which are domain specific, there are certain which are common. Basically, you know, if I talk about few use cases, uh, internet enabled car you spoke about, right? Uh, everybody drives an internet enabled car today. And there are a lot of things that are connected in a connected car. Uh, what happens if the systems are not secured enough so that somebody can hack into your mobile application, open the car door, they can mock your immobilizer and switch on the car, they can fuzz your uh, vehicle steering lock and take away the car. These are some real life scenarios even we have simulated. Or think of a corporate uh, you know, use case where a corporate IT network was hacked through a connected HVAC system. So those are the kind of vulnerabilities that exist. Some are scary, but yes, you should uh, take precaution from it. What are the solutions to ensure IoT security? There are a lot of solutions that are available, but for, like for every disease, the treatment is different. For every different IoT ecosystem, there are different measures that you have to take. But yeah, there are certain processes that you should follow. To start with, whenever you create an IoT ecosystem right at the design stage, you need to think about security. And what I'm talking about here is secure by design approach. Do not rely on one level of defense. Build defense in depth so that if one layer fails, the other layer can take over and protect uh, you. How do we future-proof our IoT systems? I, I wish there is an option to future-proof. There is nothing called future-proof here. But once your IoT system is in market, uh, what you should do is you should have a robust 24 by 7 security monitoring mechanism and vulnerability management mechanism in place uh, which uh, will ensure that you detect any issue that comes earlier and protect from it. This brings us to the end of this episode. Until next time.